in an acting career that spanned several decades. He was a James Bond villain, the king of the vampires, an evil Jedi and wizard, and his film roles are only one aspect of his adventurous life. This incredible man was Sir Christopher Frank Carandini Lee. Great grandson to world famous opera singer Maria Carandini was born on May 27, 1922. His mother was a countess from royalty in Italy, and his father was a lieutenant colonel who fought in two separate wars, the Boer War and World War I. His parents divorced and when his mother remarried, he would become related to Ian Fleming, the man who created Bond, James Bond. By the time he was 17, he was already more worldly than most teenagers. During a stay in Versailles, he witnessed the last public execution by guillotine in France. Christopher Lee would return to London prior to World War II and join the Royal Air Force in 1941. He flew dangerous missions in the African and Italian campaign and was nearly killed several times before being promoted to flight lieutenant in 1944. The war ended, and since Lee spoke fluent French, Italian, and German, he was transferred back to the intelligence department to track down Nazi war criminals before retiring from the Air Force in 1946. After the war, Christopher Lee wasn't sure what to do next. One day, while at lunch with a cousin of his, who happened to be the Italian ambassador to Britain, they discussed his becoming an actor. Lee loved the idea, and after many attempts, eventually signed to a seven-year contract and had his film debut in a movie called Corridor of Mirrors in 1947. He made 30 movies in very small roles until getting his big break working in the monster movies the late 1950s. In 1958, Christopher Lee was cast as Dracula, which would go on to become one of the greatest roles of his long career. Critics and fans everywhere in Britain would acknowledge Lee as one of the greatest villains of all time, and he would play Dracula a total of 10 times. The horror movie industry was very good to Christopher Lee, and he had roles like Fu Manchu, The Mummy, and a role in the cult classic, The Wicker Man. 20 years later, by 1972, Lee was tired of horror movies and wanted to branch out. His step-cousin Ian Fleming wanted him to play a villain in one of the James Bond movies and he was almost cast as Dr. No, but the timing didn't work out until 1974 when he played the assassin Scaramanga in The Man with the Golden Gun. Some of the roles he was offered and missed out on for various reasons are almost as incredible as the roles he did take. Christopher Lee was almost in John Carpenter's Halloween, Airplane as Leslie Nielsen's character, and Magneto in X-Men instead of Sir Ian McKellen. In the early years of the 2000s, he would appear in the Star Wars movies as the evil Sith Lord Count Dooku and as Saruman, the wizard who becomes an enemy to the Fellowship of the Ring, as well as many other movies in between these iconic roles. He was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2001 and knighted in 2009. And when Lee wasn't acting, he was singing. He performed backup vocals with Italian power metal band Rhapsody of Fire and would eventually become the second oldest performer to get on the music charts at 91 years old. Christopher Lee, Knight, actor and singer, died from heart failure June 7, 2015, at the age of 93. A legend in several industries and after a life well lived.